And I just want to say that, you know, um, as I look at your faces, I know typically in this day of uh, swearing in and taking the oath of office and oath of allegiance, uh, you, you know, that would have been Mbabeze and all of that around the, uh, you know, place. And then uh, in this one, it's a little bit different because we are being called upon, this is a call to walk. It's not a call to celebrate. So when I say congratulations, I also say commiserations. The challenges are among us. But that's why you have also offered to serve. The reason we insisted on people expressing interest and indicating that they want to serve because we are looking for people with passion, competence, and integrity. I'm sure in some days or weeks or months to come, some of you maybe, even when you see your recommendations and the package, you'll be wondering whether you are in the right place. <laughs> but I want to charge you to keep your eyes on the public purpose. The public purpose, why you are here. During the campaigns, I did make comments to people, I mean, in yeah, my campaigns, and I said, that getting power from nomination through the campaigns and everything was 5% of the work. That after swearing in is now 95% of the work. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know what effort it took to get to office, and that's just 5% in my own head, you can then imagine what is being expected of you in this 95% segment. And that's what we are being called upon to